Hello Rhapsody, this is Coach Allen. We are going to talk about the home workout of the day for Saturday, March 28th. This is Coach Stan, say hi Stan. Hey guys. All right, so we are gonna talk about Mountains of Banff, which is actually in one of my favorite national parks. You have some uh, information about it? Yeah, Banff is in Canada and it's the oldest national park in Canada. Which is pretty cool. It's also the third oldest in the world, which is pretty great. If you've never been there, it's probably one of the prettiest places I've ever been in my entire life. So. Awesome, okay. The RX level two, level one for the workout today. This is our minimal equipment workout. For time, you're gonna start out with a 1200 meter run, or if we can't run, you're gonna do 200 uh, mountain climbers. From here, you're gonna do 100 weighted bent rows, followed by 100 lying toes to bar, and finishing out with a 100 no push-up burpees. Okay. Level two, we're at 1,200 meters of that run or 200 mountain climbers, 100 weighted bent rows, 75 laying toes to bar, and then 75 no push-up burpees. For our level one variation, we take it down to 800 meters of a run or 150 mountain climbers, 75 weighted bent rows, 50 lying toes to bar, and then 50 no push-up burpees. For our no equipment variation, we do everything except instead of the bent row, we do the dive bomber push-up, and we'll talk about what that is in just a second. So let's go over the standard ranges of motion. First thing that I'm gonna have Stan do is, in the mountain climber today, we're doing the giant mountain climber. So that front foot will come out in outside of his hand. From here, he's gonna jump to the other side, and we wanna make sure that that front foot stays flat and that front shin is vertical every time. A scaling option that you could do is bringing the knee into your elbow and making contact with the elbow. So that's the scaled option for yourself today. Great. The next one is the weighted bent row. So you can have any object around the house, whether that is a dumbbell, a kettlebell, a book bag, anything. From here, he's gonna deadlift the weight up to his hips. From here, sending his hips back, elbows will track back, pulling it to his chest, and then back down every single time. Good. What we're looking for here is keeping a back nice and flat. Elbows will track back the entire time. Good, take a break. Good, from here, we're gonna go in to our lying toes to bar. So keeping the arms nice and straight, he's gonna lay on his back and he's gonna connect to that, the actual weight itself because that's gonna mimic like him hanging from the bar. First thing that we're gonna do is elevate the heels, his knees are gonna come into his chest and then from here he's gonna try to reach for that bell and then back down, uncurling his body without letting his heels touch. Good, let's try that a couple times and back down, good. The RX version is keeping his legs straight and doing the same sort of deal, that's good. Uncurling every single time. We're trying to get at least 10 in a row before you have to take a break. Good, take a break, awesome. The last one is the no push-up burpee. So what we're looking for here is jumping into the plank position, jumping up, every single time. We want you to move really fast here. So these are a sprint to the end. Good, take a break. Good, for our no equipment variation today, we're doing the dive bomber push up. So we start in a down dog position. His elbows will track back to his knees. He will dive down and then push himself back into the down dog position. Again, down into the dive bomber and then press back. And variation, an RX variation is going down into the dive bomber push up and then reversing what you do. Good, nice Dan, good, take a break. That's awesome. All right, so let's talk about the actual workout itself and the goals for the workout. So what we're looking for here, good, is 12 to 15 minutes for this workout. So looking at the run, I need that run to be under six minutes. So you could either set out a goal and say I'm gonna run 600 meters out and then 600 meters back, or set yourself a clock of three minutes out and then three minutes back. I need you to be able to complete at least 10 plus reps for your bent rows and your toes to bar. So if we need to scale the volume down for level two or level one, let's do it. 
it. Good. We want to increase our pace across, and then at the very end, we sprint those no push up burpees as fast as you possibly can. That's the goal of this workout. Again, 12 to 15 minutes. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to Team Rhapsody. We can answer any of those for yourself. Last but not least, we have our announcements. We have yoga on Sunday with Dakota Flynn. It's going to be at 11:30. We're super pumped about it. I'm super excited about it. All right. Have a great weekend, and we will see you here at Rhapsody. Bye, guys. Bye.